y'all dreaming about? Luck Ness, fish, death. Oh, okay. Sam is dreaming about ladybugs. Oh, his laptop, of course, and books. Dean is dreaming about his new home. A... What was that? I didn't even see it. A feather... Movies and the military. CDs, of course. He's thinking about his... His rather cassette tapes. <laughs> his outdated cassette tapes. That's what he's dreaming about. Oh, I hear something. Oh, it's the ghosts uh, waking up in the middle of the night again, isn't it? Yep, and they're all out here in the mausoleum. Let's go back to the home, because, oh, it's about time for one of them to wake up, surely. Oh, well, Sam might wake up first. Or maybe Cass. Maybe both of them. I think it's gonna be Sam who wakes up. There he is! Rise and shine, Sammy! <laughs> okay, he's gonna have... No, you're gonna prepare waffles. Do we not have any leftovers? Why not have some leftover waffles? If they're not spoiled. They're not spoiled, are they? Hey, yeah, Cass is awake. Oh, he didn't sleep well. Poor Cass. Dean, you need a shower. There we go. You've got it under control. I'm gonna go see if I can figure out where the heck Malcolm Harris lives. Because, apparently, I, I need to get Dean to fix their TV. Where the heck is Malcolm Harris? <laughs> Which one of these houses has... Oh! This is the place. That's the roommate's wannabe household. Okay. So after you take a shower, Dean, you can finally complete that thing. Finally freaking fix the TV. <laughs> Dean quietly singing in the shower because he thinks no one can hear him. <laughs> Alright, you guys. Socialize or something. Or watch TV. Why are you watching TV from the TV when there's a... From, I mean, from the table when there's a perfectly good sofa there. Whatever, I need to keep track of Dean so I can make sure that he's doing everything he needs to to get that TV done properly. I need to check and see if there's a way that I can get a car that looks like the Impala. Because <laughs> I'm getting so tired of just having them take taxis everywhere. Dean would be so much happier to have his lovely Impala. Oh, he made it. They're actually not all that far away. As a political figure, how do you think Dean would do? Watch a raccoon. Wait, I can quickly fulfill a witch. Wish, I mean, watch a raccoon. I have a feeling Dean would not be very enthusiastic to enter a house that is blasting music like that. Alright, I guess he's been invited inside. Hey, there's some people in there! Dee Dee Wynn and Haley Samari. Who are you guys? Is she gonna come out and compliment him? Alright, he's a lady magnet, right? <laughs> <laughs> Finally! Holy crap! Hello! Oh my! Oh my! Something's going on here! Does she have Solix horns? I think she has troll horns. Dean, that is a. Uh, that girl's not human. Not fully, at least. They seem rather taken with each other. My, my! Today on. Boy, this sure is canon. Does Dean not even realize that she's not human? Because, I mean, those are, those are troll horns from Homestuck. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I just didn't. Just invite yourself into someone's house and freaking sit down and watch soap operas on their TV. Aren't you supposed to be fixing their TV? Looks like it's working just fine to me. Okay, what about upstairs? Is there a TV upstairs maybe that's not working and that's what we're supposed to be fixing? Dang! They live in a freaking mansion! I don't see another TV anywhere. Maybe he just... Maybe they just said that their TV was broken to get him over here. I mean, I mean, like I said, he tends to attract a lot of ladies. Hmm? He thinks he's being impolite. Is Malcolm a girl or a boy? Malcolm's a boy name, right? I can't even tell. I thought that was a girl. I thought I was supposed to repair the TV. What do you want Dean to do? I thought there was a TV to be repaired here. Holy crap. Holy crap. Holy crap! Dean, Dean, fight the thief! Fight the thief! Be a hero! What the heck are you doing in here? Why is there a thief here? Are you gonna actually steal anything or are you just gonna stare forlornly out the windows? Dean, maybe you should be doing something about the fact that a thief just strolled into these people's houses. The house. What TV is there to repair? That TV is fine. Oh, wait, do I already have the TV in my inventory? No. Am I supposed to tinker with the TV? Oh, oh, no, she's working with the TV. It looks like it's working just fine. This is chaos! Dean came here to repair a TV, but there's not a TV to repair, and now there's a thief in here. I don't know what the heck to do about it. Okay, Dean, you know what? You handle the chaos. I want to go see what Sam and Cass are doing. Sam's watching TV. Cass is over there. Sam, you should practice your chess. Okay, Dean. 
How is the chaos over here going? He was quite- that, that girl over there was quite smitten with him and he seemed quite intrigued by her. He asked for money? Hold up, Haley. Hey, look, if you're trying to get into something with Dean, you really shouldn't be doing it for the money, because, I mean, he's almost broke most of the time. Oh, he's gonna go talk about the supernatural, of course. Is no one concerned about the freaking thief in the house? Dean's really hungry. Where is the TV that Dean is supposed to be fixing? I don't understand. I don't see another TV anywhere in the house. You're just socializing with the thief! Okay, where do we get to the opportunities? Okay, repair the TV. Malcolm Harris. Take the TV set. It will be in your family inventory. How do you what is family inventory? Dean is socializing with a thief. Oh, hey. Dahlia Goodfellow has been pretty busy lately and doesn't have time to cook. You've been asked to prepare a nice group meal in exchange for some nice cash. Get the pan simmering before the time runs out. Hmm. Is she a fairy? I'm thinking she was that fairy who Cass talked to in the park. Uh, sure. Sure. Dean, you're supposed to be fixing the TV, not watching it. Dean, I think you need to go home. There isn't an opportunity for you here. Unless Haley? Because, I mean, Haley. Haley looked like there was a good opportunity there. Where is Haley? There's music playing in two different rooms at once, and it's true chaos. There's no one concerned about the thief. Why would you. If you're a. <sighs> okay, you know what, Dean? I think you need to go home. This is true chaos. I don't think you can handle this. How are things going at home, guys? Cass is watching TV. He just needs a serving of any recipe. Cass, you should go make something. Oh, we should go get a cool recipe. Let's go to the bookstore. Cass, go to the bookstore and, like, get some cool recipe. Where's a bookstore in this town? Come on, every town is a bookstore. Wait. Bookstore and spa? Well, okay. Shop for books. You need to go home and have some food. I mean, freaking Malcolm Harris. Like, what even happened at that house? Lots of things happened. A thief broke in. Dean fell in love. <laughs> the freaking angel wings sticking out. I'm still not over that. Alright, Cass. Let's get you a book. A cookbook. Let's see if you can learn a recipe. Just so you can... Maybe impress that person, the fairy lady or whatever. Alright, let's see. Do we have any in the room? Oh, here we go. Chili con carne, vegetarian chili ratatouille. Ooh, that'd be cool. Fish and chips, cookies, fruit parfait. Uh, what level? I, I know these are divided up by levels. Holy crap, what if you learned to pick angel food cake? <gasps> ah! <gasps> uh, that'd be perfect. Hmm, what to make? I think hot and sour soup would be pretty cool. Sweet. All right, Cass, you can go on home then and make that. Crap, I always lose track of where the home is in relation to everything else in this town. Oh, wait, there's always a button to just go home. I forgot, I forgot that that was a thing. All right, you guys, how's it going at home? Dean, you gonna tell Sam about all the insanity that happened earlier? Because there was a lot of insanity going on. Are you watching your soap operas? <laughs> spoiled waffles? The waffles spoiled? Hey, Cass. You should read it so you'll know how to make the food. Oh. Don't distract Cass too much, Dean. Just watch the TV and let Cass do his reading. Uh, <laughs> Sam, please! It's okay. Don't worry about it. His logic skills are going through the roof, which is excellent. He still wants to watch a raccoon. Are there any raccoons outside? Oh, are there bills that we need to pay? Apparently not. I'll check on that later, though, just to make sure. How are the skill levels looking? Cass has gained some logic, which is nice. He could use that. Cooking. Sam's logic is good. His alchemy skills could use some work. But... Oh, hold on. Sam, I'm just calling you. The heck was that? Oh, we finished reading it, so he knows how to make it now. Sam, answer your phone! Answer your phone! It's Miriam! Hey, you can chat with Miriam. Oh, friendly hug! Uh, sure. Ah. Savage. Look at that! I think their bar is like full. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> Sam, I'm surprised that you managed <laughs> to befriend Miriam, but I'm glad that you did. <laughs> You're talking about Sam, but he's right behind you. Careful! Make sure you. If you're gonna talk about your brother. Like, he's not there. Oh, he's telling him a story about Sam. Okay. Dean's probably got a whole bunch of those. 
No doubt he has a whole oh, bunch of them. <laughs> it's freaking adorable! So much of do. My cat just meowed at me. No, oh, okay, Dean's gonna go to Gussie up or whatever. Cass can watch TV. Cass, maybe tonight you could prepare that meal. Sam <laughs> is so excited, what is it? Oh, he's gonna go eat leftover waffles. Okay, Dean, you done in there? <laughs> he's got romance on his mind. Thinking of Haley. Eh. Oh. <laughs> what about your. Oh, they're spoiled! Oh, yeah. You probably don't want to eat that. Um, let's go ahead and clean that up. Does your hunger get. Oh, you still need to eat something. Is there anything else in the fridge? What about apple pancakes? Are those spoiled? Please tell me those aren't spoiled. Please tell me the apple pancakes aren't spoiled. Cass was so proud of those. <laughs> Okay, those don't look spoiled to me. <laughs> His cooking skills about to improve. Sweet. Become the best chef in the world, Cass! Chef Cass! He's so intrigued. He's drawing in every single detail. He's become, like, obsessed with cooking. Make sure you clean up after yourself, okay? Thanks, Sam. Not everyone does that. It annoys me. <laughs> Ah! He improved his cooking skill! I'm still considering whether or not I should actually bother to use the freaking uh, oh. mother load cheat or whatever. Oh. I'm not sure. I don't think I should because I don't really want to cheat that much in this game. <laughs> They're bad quality! They're spoiled waffles! Cass, are you sure you want to eat those? <laughs> yeah, blog. We boofa. Smell is like a f it smells like a fish in a net. Tastes like one too. <laughs> Are you still gonna eat them? I mean, okay, if you want to. Some I wouldn't think you'd want to eat spoiled food. waffles, Cass. I mean, I know you are very proud of them, but they're spoiled now, it's okay. Oh, Sam's asleep. I mean, no, oh, Dean, you ready to go to bed? Because it looks like maybe- Yep, I thought so. Because you look tired. <laughs> go get some sleep. In the meantime, Cass, you need to clean this up and then you can go to bed. Ah, oh gosh. Oh, he's nauseous! Oh no! Guess please don't wake up in the middle of the night and vomit. Alright, let's let the night pass by then. Don't you cry no more.